place to look after your original character while at school or work? Well, look no further. Introducing Daisy Daycare, the one-stop place for all your OC needs. All OCs are welcome. There isn't a single one we won't accept. Don't believe me? Well, let's hear some testimonies from a couple of OC owners here right now. Oh, Daisy Daycare has been such a godsend. My OC was getting rather restless at home, but now he can frolic around with others of his kind. But mother... This is Night Blossom Claw. Mommy says he has to live here now after genocide. Wow, what an amazing response. And trust me, there's plenty more where that came from. Here at Daisy Daycare, we work around the clock to ensure your characters receive the best treatment available. Now let's go ahead and meet the owner of Daisy Daycare, interviewed by Zone 83's very own Barbara Lay. This is quite the impressive establishment, considering it wasn't here a week ago. Just confirming, you're the rightful legal owner. Uh, sure. Being opening week, it's pretty busy here. You couldn't possibly be running this all on your own. Oh yeah, no, I, I got help. Uh, a couple of friends are here. Oh, and Demodog's up and running again. Though well, as you can see, he's only been hooked up to the foyer at the moment because he uh, somehow maybe got terminated while he was redesigning some OCs a while back. We ended up having to uh, install a previous version of him, but since he's sent in and all that, the regression kind of left him a bit confused about a couple things. So yeah, until then, I think it's best if he just focuses on uh, breeding the OC owners and helping advertise the place. Only two days into opening and already questions have been raised on the validity of Daisy Daycare's management. With seemingly only a broken software and deformed child behind it, it brings to question if owners should be more wary when placing their characters in their care. Especially considering... Hey, Daisy Nay, has found these two in the vents. I think they must have escaped the paint pen by the looks of them. But uh, weirdly enough, I can't seem to find any of their records. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, just uh, put it back for now. Did you? We'll sort that out later. Okay. Too many questions. No. Talked about this though. Why am I wasting my time here doing this interview for a no-name daycare? How is this news? This isn't real journalism, goddammit. You heard that right, folks. Here at Daisy Daycare, we don't just offer around-the-clock babysitting, but also boast an in-house redesign parlor. Have an outdated, unloved, or unwanted OC? Don't you worry. By updating and changing the look of your OC, you'll fall back in love with them in no time. Daisy Daycare will help turn that frown upside down. And what's that? You want to know how to enter? Well, it's easy. Just head on down to Nate Rix's facility, where in the Daisy Daycare channel, you'll automatically receive a sacrificial token that you can use to submit a picture and short description of your OC. And don't you worry, if you made a mistake or later on want to update or even add another OC in your post, just delete it and you'll get your token instantly refunded ready to use again. Simple as that. Redesigning OCs can sometimes take a bit, so while they wait their turn, we at Daisy Daycare have made sure to provide a large array of fun and exciting activities they can partake in. We've got knitting, contests on who has the most tragic backstory, axe throwing, and even painting! Hooray! Well, hey there, Mr. Painting. You gotta slow down on all the fun you're having over here, otherwise you'll make me jealous. What's the theme today? Whoa! How exciting! With a crazy color like that, I wouldn't know where to start. But, uh-oh, looks like someone didn't get the memo. But that's okay, Mr. Painty. Everyone makes mistakes, even at Daisy Daycare. Then why is this little Missy red? Oh yeah, you're right, they're missing. Huh, that's kind of strange. Oh, God! If I could find a way to say the right words to you Explain what I... 